All right, I'm Avi Diaz, head coach at Elk Grove High School. Oh my goodness, so I'm, uh, my story is different. I migrated to this country, so I was 13 years old, right? I, I struggled with like learning the language, and, uh, but that didn't stop me. Uh, I had a guy who like helped me communicate with my coach, and uh, at the beginning I was very like hesitant to, to, to try to speak to the coach because I couldn't communicate properly, but uh, there was another kid there who, who spoke Spanish, and I'm like, brother, you're gonna help me out here because I, I want to do this. Like just to be able to to be part of a community where language is a barrier, uh, that that just speaks by itself, right? Like I, I had to struggle to to learn the language to to go to high school, right? Uh, but gymnastics was what kept me in high school. I was one of the guys who who thought I wasn't gonna finish high school. Uh, it kept me away from hanging out with the wrong people. I learned discipline. I learned that even when things are so hard and, and, and so hard to accomplish, if you dedicate time and if you try and fail, you, you have the, the power to get up and, and do it again and again and again. So it doesn't count how many times you fail, it counts how many times you get up and try it again. I went to uh, Highland Park High School Actually, Coach Aaron from Prospect was his first year coaching, and uh, I, I got coached by, by, by Aaron. Awesome, I didn't know that. I saw gymnastics on TV for the first time in my life, and it just changed my world. I'm like, how in the world are these people doing these things that I've never thought a human could do? So he, he caught my attention, and as soon as I got enrolled, and uh, I started high school, the first thing I looked for was, I need to know where these kids are training to do this. Before uh, season began, began uh, I, I started training because I didn't want the coach to say, no, you're, you're, you're not ready. It was something that I saw on TV, and it really motivated me to do what other people think is impossible to do. I think I was lucky enough to, to think of the sport as a job. So I was able to focus and I was, I was able to compete at, at a higher level than I thought I was once. Like, I, I thought I wasn't going to gonna make and, and compete at a certain level, but my dedication and hard work paid off and, and I was able to compete uh, comfortably at a higher level. Oh my goodness, I, I feel like once you, you become or form part of this family, because this is a family that, that we're part of, uh, it's, it's, it's hard to, to get away. Even though when you're not physically in the gym, your mind's still in the gym, right? Like you're thinking about it. You're like, oh my God, as a coach, how can I, how can I modify a little detail that can make a big difference in one of my athletes? Uh, I, 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 I enjoy the fact that I was one of the kids who, who started at high school, and many of my athletes are at that stage. So I completely understand where they are, mentally and physically, so I can help them out a lot. Do you have any uh, Spanish-speaking athletes? Absolutely. This season, as a matter of fact, it's been one of the most diverse group in, at El Grove High School. Uh, probably 70% of my kids are, are dual language speakers. Uh, and not only Spanish, there's other languages in, in the cage, which which we love, right? We, this is not a sport for a certain race or uh, from a specific country. This is, a, this is a, a sport that welcomes every single athlete from every ethnicity and language uh, that, that, you, that you can think of. Um, if the first time doesn't work, you get up, you try again. This is a sport that you don't quit. You don't quit. You face ment mental challenges that are the craziest, the highest barriers that you can face as an athlete in this sport. For the, There's a reason why this sport is probably the hardest in the world, right? Uh, you face a lot of uh, mental blocks, you face, you, sometimes you feel some physical limitations, but the fact that you keep working and then you conquer that skill, it just shows that when you apply yourself, you will be successful in and out of the gym, so you can be ready for the real world. Like. The real world throws you a lot of things, so we gotta be prepared. And that's something we as coaches, we teach our kids. There's so many things that I'm proud, uh, especially uh, one of, one of uh, many of my athletes. I, I can't pick one. Why? Because all my athletes are homegrown. 
none of my kids have been part of a club in the past. And to be able to compete and end in fourth in the conference, we're putting up a fight. We are doing something right. And, and these kids, it just shows that why we should keep this sport. These kids are fighters, they are go-getters, and, and, and the way they identify themselves with the sport is how I identify with myself and the sport. So therefore, we need to keep this sport alive. Sometimes the sport doesn't need a kid, but the kid needs the sport. Hey, let's all get together and let's save uh, high school gymnastics. I love it. Thank you, sir. All right.